quick, come on, let's go over and stand by your tree you took down. Because I think if you guys oh, are there, we yesterday, but we didn't have <laughs> We, we had the green the piece fruit, right here, and, and it's called maypop. So this is a black swallowtail caterpillar, mm -hmm. and it's so just an example of um, <laughs> how these little prairie patches, even though they're relatively small from a landscape scale, can be really great for pollinators. Horse mint. Horse mint. Horse mint. Okay. Do the horses eat it? Not to my knowledge. Let me get a close-up of it. Oh, be still. Yep. Be still. Oh, still. Okay. oh yeah, I, I can get it. I can <laughs> zoom in real close. Let me just see it. Isn't and it? Yeah. And I don't suppose you want to pick it. Oh, oh sure. Oh, bingo. Do berry? Um, no. These don't make your tongue numb. That's the other tree. Like, oh no, I've fallen for this one before. <laughs> I'll link them more on the other side. Have you seen the signs on that? Are you ready? Uh, we'll wait for that. Caterpillar eggs on them. They're coming back through on their spring migration back up north. So I have seen a few. The red and orange ones? Uh -huh. Those are Indian blanket or gallardias. And it'll look different in the fall. If you ever get back, it'll be great. They'll have all these tall yellow flowers. See these, these ones right here, like all of these and these, they're gonna be big, tall ones, lots of yellow on them. And then these grasses, like these are gonna be, these are gonna be tall. And this Indian grass is gonna be tall with these golden waving seed heads. This, yeah, what are those guys, the Eastern Gamma? Oh, that's Eastern Gamma. Culture has uh, got a great diversity of students. Mm -hmm. they do. Okay. It's magnet for languages. This is, uh, yeah, we're